And now continuing coverage on the earthquake, the 6.0 that hit Napa. The initial damage to homes and commercial properties in the city is now estimated at $300 million. And that figure doesn't include damage to public buildings or the loss of business inventories or the road damage. More than 80 water main breaks, water lines still need to be repaired, but fewer than 500 customers are affected and without water this morning. Also, 60 inspectors are continuing to work on evaluating the damaged structures. Crown Force Mike Pelton is live in Napa this morning with a look at the latest. Good morning, Mike. Well, good morning, Daria. You're taking a live look here at the corner of 2nd and Brown Street. Many of you at home have likely seen this building many times over the past week. The three-story building that has part of the roof teetering on the edge. And I just spoke with a Napa police officer who tells me it appears uh, that that roof is teetering a lot more than it was just about 24 hours ago. But as you can see, in recent days, crews have set up a lot of fencing around the building and have also, uh, as I pan the camera over here, have put up a number of warning signs telling people to stay back about 100 feet. And if you drive around Napa, this is what you'll see a lot of. A lot of fencing protecting people from the damaged buildings because you never know when another aftershock might come and some of the loose concrete could come toppling down. Now, city officials estimate the damage to private and commercial buildings in the neighborhood of $300 million. However, that does not include damage to public buildings, infrastructure, and the overall loss of business inventory. Building inspectors, meanwhile, continue to evaluate structures. Currently, more than 100 are red tagged, more than 500 are are yellow tagged, which means caution when going into those buildings. And one Napa resident I talked to this morning says just walking around town is a bit eerie. With the aftershocks, you know, I felt a few throughout the week and, and a couple that were really, you could really see the house shake a little bit. So it was always the, the week after. At what, point, at what point do you think Napa is going to feel like Napa again? When all this leaves, you know, and, and when people get things back in order and my kids are back in school and they're uh, for the first two nights they slept in our room with us in our bed. And back out here live, in addition to dealing with all the damaged structures, city crews are also working to restore water service. Officials say fewer than 500 people are still without running water. They hope to repair the remaining broken water lines by tomorrow night. And as you're taking a live look here, despite the outward appearance of Napa, they are hoping, uh, business owners, Daria, are hoping for a busy holiday weekend. Now, we've talked about this a lot this week, but that's really the message coming out of Napa, as many of them are open for business. They rely on tourism. So this weekend, come on up, visit a winery, eat at a restaurant, or do a little shopping. Daria. I think we here in the Bay Area know that this is a couple of blocks, but it's nationwide that that's a big problem. Visitors come from all around to go to Napa, and they think it's been wiped off the map. Not the case at all. Mike is looking at where the big damage is. Thanks a lot, Mike.